that 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 moves on to sort of like my my next um, point here that I want to jump into, which is uh, a tweet from a uh, past podcast guest, Alyssa Miller. Uh, she said, "Hey, security leaders in large orgs, you can't complain about how infosec needs to fill fill fix the skills gap and then brag all the highly skilled and expensive folks you hire while having no prob program for finding or grooming new talent. You're part of the problem. Hashtag do better, be better." So, you know, a lot of guests on the program, and obviously you're all saying the same thing. I don't care what your background is, as long as you can demonstrate passion and inventive thinking, we can train you. And I don't doubt that works for a lot of people, but that's clearly not the case everywhere, as there's plenty of evidence for companies hiring people who have these power-packed resumes or top-notch qualifications or a mile of high-profile contacts and references that they can draw <clears> on, <throat> uh, to the detriment of other candidates, many of whom might have been shut out of the kind of prestige projects that would have put these type of qualifications on their resume. So do we have any thoughts on moving the culture away from scouting rock stars and towards hiring intriguing, inquisitive people, uh, you know, of diverse backgrounds from outside of the sort of uh, standard industry places? <laughs> so just because you have a rock star resume doesn't mean you're a rock star. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen plenty. Look, my resume looks great, right? I've had it revamped and all of that. But if I can't, do what my resume says and I can't provide value to my organization. It's just a piece of paper and it means absolutely nothing. Yeah. I've worked with folks that have some of the highest certifications, PhDs, all of that stuff. And they were, excuse my language, shit bags. They barely did anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. yeah. And all of the work was being put on everybody else. And so um, for, for hiring for recruiters, we have, and I'm not a recruiter, but we have to not be lazy yeah and just throw the little the net here you can't just say hey there's a free free this and expect everybody to see it because the folks that you really really want to see it may not be in those spaces that you're putting that advertising oh. so instead of going to the job fairs at stanford's and harvard's and yales go to the career fairs at the community college go to the rural areas where conferences and organizations aren't actually there but there's people that are willing to learn and are learning technology and trying to get in the space think outside of the box it's not that difficult you know go into go into the high schools and talk to the different high schools and talk yep. to the students like if they don't know there's an opportunity for them they're not going to go out and seek it so you right. have to we have to organizations and people in the industry have to go out and say hey opportunity come over come over let's let's help you get to this point and that'll start to change the, the the talent pool, but we have to just be willing to reach out there. Yeah, and over a long period of time too. Right. Mm -hmm. Not just not just you know one month of the year when we want to check. <laughs> Look, I'm just gonna say this one thing, okay? All this nonsense about reskills gap, skills shortage, I think it's all nonsense. We have enough resources everywhere. Mm -hmm. We just have a pointy hair boss and HR people who's not opening that door. Right. So I don't you know this all this articles marketing, oh shortage gap, you, you know, skills gap, ah, you know, BS. It's not real. Mm -hmm. Because look at you know how many times I went to universities and like to Mary's point, going to community colleges, they are so eager to mm -hmm. watch have an opportunity and sure you know i've gotten yelled at by and i had the best hr team from city national bank i'll just give them the kudos but the reality is, you know everybody is so you know and they're so hungry to work and to have an opportunity um i think we even talked about it before where you know we have this we want to build this rock star team it is completely useless what are you right. going to have yeah. a person doing 10 different jobs because they know it all? I've been, I'm, I'm at fault for doing the same thing. I had a team of four core teams and all a bunch of minions, but the four core team basically did everything. They love what they do, but it's like I've over, and they, they were over, over uh, utilized. Right. And so I made it a change in the latter part of my career where I rather have a bunch of minions that is going to, that's more hungry, who's going to step up. Mm -hmm. And my main four core people, their only job was to keep pushing them to think on their own and not ask for help. Right. Okay. Yeah. 
yeah. just sufficient, right? Because to, we are in a jungle, and we are in a battle. So, the pro, but but the problem is, is all of this uh, this mindset of having the somebody who has all these certificate degree, lazy people. That's what it basically means to me. It means <laughs> I read, I read have somebody who just. And this is the mentality that we have to change. Is like you don't need. If I had a budget of let's say two hundred thousand dollars, I'm gonna hire four people or three people. I'm not gonna have one person. It's a way, I mean, that's the we talk about. We don't have enough staffing. Well, because you pay too much mm -hmm. you pay for something that you're not supposed to pay for. You're buying yeah. one person building a team. So what are you trying to? Yeah, it's not a good return on investment either. Or, no. or adjust your budget so you can pay people more. <laughs> there you go. Adjust There's instead it. of that two hundred thousand dollar <laughs> cyber yeah. budget, make that a million dollars. Yeah. yeah. I'm excited to announce that our InfoSec Skills platform will be releasing a new challenge every month with three hands-on labs to put your cyber skills to the test. Each month, you'll build new skills ranging from secure coding to penetration testing to advanced persistent threats and everything in between. Plus, we're giving away more than $1,000 worth of prizes each month. Go to infosecinstitute.com challenge and start your challenge right now.